Hello and welcome everyone. So, while I made the joke at the beginning of the John Wedge Week Modern video, I wasn't joking. I do want to, we are going to play uh, John Midrange in Pioneer. Now, I haven't tested this deck yet. I don't know how it's going to go. I just hope it goes well. Um, just kind of testing some numbers. Not really sure about all of them. Uh, we're playing two Croxo, uh, one Clothis. Um, pretty strong midrange suite with Chandra's, Vraska's, Nissa, Liliana at the top end. Um, I don't actually have a Chandra Awaken Inferno, otherwise this would probably be the Awaken Inferno. But one last hope down here. We're playing one Painful Truth. It's kind of our draw engine. Um, we also got uh, Sylvan Karyatid to kind of try and ramp us to filter our mana and everything as well. Rub Decay, one Dread Boar, four Thoughtseize, three Pushes, two Impulses, and two Erebos Intervention is our main board removal suite with a whopping 24 lands. Sideboard we have two Cast Down, two Noxious Grass, two Fry, two Ashiok, one Pulse of Marasa, two Trophies, two Shifting Ceratops, and two Slaughter Games. Again, kind of just brewing it up, not really sure what's good, what we want. Uh, we're going to hop into some matches here and see how it goes. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below, and yeah, I hope you have some fun here. All right, we're on the draw against, looks like, Corbin Hessler, who also is a content creator. We're going to keep this hand. Um, it's a little slow, but we got a carry to and we got some removal. Uh-oh. ruh ruh raggy All right, well, I'm going to play Carrotid here, and I think we're going to save this Dreadbore for a potential Feather next turn. Yep, Feather the Redeemer. Feather down. Clearly trying to protect their stuff here. Let's go with Thoughtseize. Boy, oh boy. So... Scries... Yes, yeah, so that's pretty annoying. All right, so you can actually cast all three of these, except they can't cast that one. So if I take Titan Strength, they could go plus one plus zero to this, draw a card, and it dies still. All right, we'll take Titan Strength. I hope my math is right there. Although I guess if they draw into another removal spell, then we can't kill it. And that's obviously an issue. Attacking me. That's not scary at all. Define strike. Let's 
It's going to be three damage. Hmm. So that's three, seven damage total here. I'm going to tighten strength and we're dead. Alright. So Reckless Lady does 4 damage to start creature you don't control and 2 damage to start creature you do control. Right, let's start with this. Oh, that doesn't do work, does it? We're still just dead, right? Yeah, because the Reckless Rage kill this, deal the damage there. Hmm. Alright, you got lethal? I'm assuming you do. So... It has vigilance, so it can attack. Uh, <sighs> we're in trouble if they draw almost anything here. Alright, I mean, I don't feel like we're okay, but we might be okay. Alright, we got there. Hmm. So they do have white creatures. They also have red creatures. So... I think the cards I want to take out are Nissa, Truths, Liliana's Clothis, and Sunber Grass might be okay. Cast Down definitely is good. Um, I think even Trophy's good enough here. Maybe let's take out a Thoughtseize. Because Thoughtseize is a little painful. Maybe try it like this. I don't know if this is right or not. Alright, I'm going to keep it. This is a painful hand, but we have carry tids that are really good. They can be good blockers. 
All right, favorable hoplite. Hoplite, Impulse, Swiss Spear, Legionnaire. Let's take Legionnaire, I guess. Maybe we should have taken one of their one drops, actually, so they couldn't double spell this turn. Yeah, that was probably better, right? Take two. Right, well, we got a shock, unfortunately, to get this into play. Alright. Wow. So as uh, impulse was in their hand. So fire impulse and one. Okay. Well, we're gonna take a huge hit here. All right, they bottom it. We take five. I think we have to go to five here. Glory bringer. Our characters can block these guys. And from five, we have to block. Yep. Unfortunately, this means exactly what we're afraid of. Me, right? They put a card on top. That's not good for us. Oh boy, definitely in trouble here. All right. Something good.
All right. Oh boy. All right, Dreadhorde Arcanist, that's not good. <sighs> Boy, that was a good draw. Oh, that was a good draw. Oh, man, that was a good draw. Holy crap. All right, draw for turn. Ooh, Noxious Grasp. All right, that can be a good draw. If you draw the right card, or if they have the right threat. Down to seven. Yep. So I mean, they still get to scry and draw, or no? I think it's, I think the draw fizzles. All right. It's all you, opponent. Going out on your own terms. All right. We'll be back in just a minute for round number two. Alrighty, on the play for round number two. Uh, this hand's awkward. We don't have a green source. We're going to keep it. We can cast the rest of our spells in our hand. It's a little slow and clunky, but... Besides, maybe we'll be lucky and just draw a green source off top next turn. Are we really playing the same deck twice? Yo, that's annoying. That's going to punish us for not, uh, not mulliganing. Well, I guess we push that and pass. Maybe that was wrong. Maybe we're supposed to kill this one. Yeah, because it's going to let them recast a bunch of spells. Well, I guess this was just one spell. Hopefully we'll be able to kill it one way or the other. Alright, let's hope we can deal four damage to it and kill it. Otherwise I'll probably cry. Nope, they got protection for it. Nope, indestructible, that's even worse. So that means Erebos intervention would have killed it. Feather. Yep. Attacking there. Boros Charm for me. Now let's draw a land. That's so annoying.
Yeah, like we could go minus three to it, but that doesn't do it. Yeah, this feather is going to kill us. The hell? Drawing a card. We're probably still super dead, but... Maybe not. Yep, we're dead. Yep, if we left up the push, we would have had a chance here, but they have the stupid uh, plus four, plus zero, and trample one. Yep. Okay, so out and that should be good. I mean, the grasp is already pretty narrow, and the fact that it doesn't hit their red creatures this is funny because now we have the opposite problem we had before, which so we have no uh, all green mana. I'd love a grasp off top. Take one. So you got some kind of protection for it. 
Yep, God's frickin' willing. Yep. Brass go down. All right, I guess let's go. Warbringer. Yep, indestructible, of course. Yeah, the draws our opponents had is just freaking ridiculous. They've had literally every single card they could possibly need to beat us. I'd say that was a good game, but that was shit. So, <laughs> they just, like I said, they had literally every single card they needed to beat us. They had it. So, all right, let's redeem ourselves on the play. Yeah, I'll keep this one. It's a little land heavy, but that's okay with Croak, so we need to find another Black Source to get him act. Excuse me. The mono green planeswalker deck, eh? Because hmm. we just take a planeswalker to start with. If they draw a dork, we can kill it. Yep. Right, this card burning tree. Alright, Thoughtseize again. Vivian, Vivian. Well, I guess pick our poison, right? Fucking Jade Light. Well. Okay, we're in trouble. Yep.
I guess we could have killed the Jade Light, right? I don't know, it was a five. They could have gone and got another creature. Karn. It's very unfortunate. Not as unfortunate as that, however. Oh, yeah, this. I mean, that sucks. This deck is just so powerful, too. Oh, my God, is it insane? That's going to do it. All right. Hmm. Actually, you kill stuff. Let's see how close this. I think the rest of these cards are fine. Leon is a little slow. Airbus intervention is fine, but not great. I mean, I think his hand's about as good as we're gonna get, to be honest. Yeah, this is, uh, this doesn't feel great, but, you know, it is what it is. Opponents contemplating why they want to keep her mulligan the seven. Honestly, I like this deck a lot so far. It's felt really... Jesus, cats. Go away. Stop. Bad kitty. You're breaking things. Uh... Anyway, like I was trying to say, it's felt really reasonable. Um... That second match against Feather felt awful, but... Game one, we kept a terrible hand... You know, I thought it would be okay if we're playing against another slower deck. Um, I just hate Feather. I think that's, that card is dumb. <laughs> that card is ridiculous. I mean, definitely not as dumb as some of the other cards that are, like, absolutely bonkers. But that card is just... Oh my god, is it insane. Why must cats do these things? Our opponent decides to start the game with seven cards. I am forced to move a cat to get to my way. Eating on thoughtsies here. Oh, wow. Okay, so they go turn one, turn two. I guess we'll take that. I don't know. Taking Mana Dork doesn't seem to really make too much of a difference here.
Pop the key of the Hydra. Burning tree. Carn the Great Creator. Let me tick down or tick up. Let me tick up. All right, let's go. Kill another one of you. Kill another mana dork. Put you to two. Dang it, Tony. Come on, stop getting up here. I guess just pass. I chose to kill their mana as opposed to kill their uh, other creature, even though it attacks better. Alright, what are you getting? Land? Alright, sounds good, but we can just abrupt decay it, to be honest. This might mean they also decide not to attack Lily on the Last Hope. Um. Yeah, I gotta do it. I didn't want to do it, but I feel like I have to. Alright. On to game three here. I feel like our cards are just are good. Like, what we have is good. <clears throat> Alright. Yeah, I can rock this. We definitely need lands, but we can rock it. I'm going to keep it. Again, like I said, we need lands. That's the biggest issue with this deck. Or this hand. So, depending on how they go, I think I'm going to lead on no creature, which means I'm definitely going Thoughtseize here. <clears throat> mm, I think I'm going to take the Jade Light. It's essentially their card advantage card. Yep, this is the thing I'm gonna play the Wolfwood. Let's kill this before devotion becomes an issue. That sucks. Alright. Here's to... Tony, stop it, buddy. I know you want to be up here, but come on. Alright. Sit right there. Alright. Here's to hoping they don't have a big payoff to punish us. One, two, three. Nissa would suck. It was Nissa. Yep, push the land. You know, unfortunately, we did not draw a way to punish or to protect our stuff. 
Yep, they drew another land, which means we're in trouble. Yep, Vivian. Yep, that means our creature is dead. Our planeswalker is dead, rather. I was drawing Noxious Grasp. That's what we need. Oh, yeah, no cards in hand, so that doesn't work either. I mean, they just get to keep doing that. burning tree. Uh oh, I think we're dead. Yep, we're we're definitely dead here. Yep, and now they go get Ulamog and that's gonna be game. So actually they're probably gonna Emerald. Nope, Ulamog. Alright. Well, we tried. Alrighty, we lost a tough one to Mono Green. Planeswalkers, uh, we're on the play here for round number four. Um, this hand seems good. I mean, like to draw something to do on two, but Thoughtseize seems pretty good to start with here. Opponent is mulliganing to six cards. Keeping on sick. Let's see what they are working with. Zemir Inverter. All right, let's take Thoughtsies. If we can get close this down underneath that thought erasure, then we're going to be in pretty good shape. Obviously, we can't. Well, we're not going to be in such good shape. All right, well. Where were you last turn, you stupid carry did? That's a different opt. Important thing to note here is our opponent played different ops. Yep, here comes Thought Erasure. It's fun, they can take Veraska here. Not too big of a deal. Um, we do need to dig to a, another way to win. The, try to win the game from here. Yep. All right. That's the opt we knew about. So they can definitely dig through time next turn. All right. <clears throat> well, they got inverter. No, they're digging. Okay.
All right, I'm gonna take the two cards. And push our land, which is fine. All right, animate the mountain. Jam with the mountain. Pawns down to ten. Cycling a sensor. Inverter. Well, that's not good. I think we're dead. Yeah, I feel pretty confident we're dead this turn. If we had one more mana, we could have possibly won the game. Yep. Alright. So... Trophy, Slaughter Games, Ceratops, Cut You, Cut You, Cut You, Cut One of You. I want to leave a couple links because they're probably playing Vince Prodigies. Also want to leave a cup like a little bit of the abrupt decays in because they're probably playing our set. All right, well, I mean this is definitely the matchup like we figured we'd probably lose, um, but that's why we got slaughter games and stuff to try to do our best. Um, so ideally, with slaughter games, we're gonna name the unique combo piece. This is a mulligan. Uh, this is not a good hand either. But I don't want a mulligan. I'm going to keep... Play it tapped, and we're going to pass. Yeah, I mean, we're just... This is just not... Not good. We need a, such a specific set of cards to try and win this game. Yep, Thoughtsies. Uh, yep. Doesn't matter what they take here. Probably taking panel because it's the best card in our hand at the moment. Yep, they took the best card in their hand. Not too difficult to figure out. And that's it. The problem is now after that, the rest of our hands just slow, clunky planeswalkers that don't actually interact with them in any positive or effective way. Oh, thought erasure, yay. Nope, opt, okay. Yep. 
That's easy. Cool. Now Liliana probably goes. I guess they take Murderous Strider if they have a Planeswalker or something they already want to play. But... Again, just like we expected. Opting again. I'm assuming they have a counter spell. Hmm. Nice. All right, Jace. All right, Chandra. Yep. So if they have a way to kill us this turn, I'd be quite impressed. That's why we chose not to kill the Jace this turn with the Murderous Rider. That shot. Alright, they're going to bounce my Chandra and I'm going to have to discard it. Yep. Swift and I think we have to kill that one, right? No, Ashok, I think, is more of a problem. Fuck, this is terrible. Can I just concede? Would you guys be mad if I just conceded and moved on with life? Yeah, I'd be mad if I did, because then I'd waste ticks that I don't really have to spend. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Sure. Do you have another Jace? Nope, inverter. Flip it around. Awesome. Yep. It doesn't really matter if they try to combo win here. I think they're just going to beat us to death in three turns, so.
even less. Even less. All right. Let's just move on to the next game. All right, we're back for the final round. I like the way this hand looks. Let's roll with it. Um, despite the record, I've really enjoyed playing this deck. Um, well, I guess we're going to push city here. Push city population elvish mystic. Okay, they're not quite what I thought they were. Still happy with my decision, but a little more curious now as to what they're doing. I'm assuming they're Eldrazi. Riding Registrar. I can dig it. All right, passing it to you, opponent. Nice. Not sacrificing anything there. I, mean, I doubt they'll have anything that could counter or stop our abrupt decay, but. Well, that would have been a good reason to do this, I guess, before that. But. A little too late now, right? The hell is that? Alrighty then. Alright, so we screwed up. We should have killed this during our turn. I guess there was no real reason not to. Um... Really, deck? Yep. So now that we're aware this is a great henge deck, our dumbasses will make sure we don't let this stupid Steel Leaf champion just resolve, or at least stay on the battlefield for longer. Yep, that was a fuck-headed mistake. Alright, let's go here. And this, uh... There's that. I'm 
No. I guess that was wrong. Yeah, that was dumb. We shouldn't have done that. We should have just croaked it. I think we're supposed to just concede and move on with our lives here. Is that what we're supposed to do? It feels like that's what we're supposed to do. Oh, we're shocking it in, I see, eh? I'm trying to take an elf with this. We're going to let them kill the Vraska, though. We can't actually stop it. At least not to a meaningful enough degree that we could use it. Second Riding Registrar. Oh yeah, this uh, this feels awful. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, we we're dead from. We just can't win from here. They're God, that's so freaking annoying. All right. Trim you. Trim you. I don't know if I want Croxa. Maybe cut the interventions as well. Try that, I guess. Uh, this is like a type of matchup we should win pretty easily as long as I don't make stupid ass mistakes. Like, uh, I don't know, forget the Great Hinge is a thing and they might be playing it. This is another downside of not paying much attention to Pioneer is you don't know things like that that are, that are probably, like, obvious. It's probably obvious that Great Hinge is played heavily in Pioneer in the green aggro decks like that. That's probably common knowledge to someone who plays Pioneer frequently. But me, who plays Pioneer only when I'm, like, just want to break from Modern, I have no idea. I'm going to pause it until our opponent gets on sideboarding. All right, on the play here for round number game number two. Um, I don't like it, but I'm going to keep it. I wish we had an overgrown tomb instead of the woodland, woodland cemetery so we could push the dork during their turn and then untap and, yep. And we also don't draw any land, which is notably not good. What do they got?
Land please deck. All right. All right. So we're taking the trophy. I can see taking Chandra too, I guess. Hmm. I guess Chandra's probably the more powerful card because if it sticks on the board, that means we're probably winning the game. Ronus. That's right, something we don't care about. Cool. All right, well, that we might care about because that's freaking annoying. We don't have a fucking swamp. <laughs> oh, it's so frustrating. Yep, we don't have a swamp in play. Okay, we'll block these two, I guess. Nope, never mind, they're not. They're just attacking with that one. Why is it when I hit the six key you wanna, you know just pass? They're just not Love Struck Beast. Yep. Alright, we're going to grasp that. This doesn't mean if they want to lose their... If they want to tap out the entire turn, they do get a kill our Nissa. Which maybe that makes it wrong. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to avoid getting great hinged here. One of us locked into attacking the whole team. Oh, 
It's really annoying that we can't draw a dang freaking... Anything to save our life, to be honest. Hmm. Yep, we're taking three from the scrap peep scrounger. They finally hit the third land. Well, that sucks. Jesus. Oh, this is terrible. Yep. Hmm. That's how it goes. Unfortunately, this league's turned out to be a wash. Um, it was fun, though. I did enjoy playing this deck. Um, only matchup I didn't really enjoy playing was the Feather one, to be honest. Yeah, the matchup against Feather the second time around really sucked. Um, uh oh, Riding Regisaur, sure. All right. Well, we put up a good fight. Um, unfortunately, went one and four. Could have gone 2-3 or even possibly 3-2 if we would have played a little smarter in some of the other rounds. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's an interesting first draft with a Jun deck in Pioneer. I haven't seen any Jun decks really being successful in Pioneer. Um, so I wanted to try one out. I really liked it. Obviously, maybe not the best composition, but I think it was cool and fun experience trying it out for the first time. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video.